you're probably not familiar with the difference between the concepts of maturity and duration in bond analysis. As you can notice in this motion graphics, the bond at the top is a four-year security that pays a 10% annual coupon and redeems at par value at the end of the fourth year, as is the bond in the center. It's a security with redemption at the end of the fourth year, though the coupon is given by a 5% annual interest rate. The one at the bottom is a zero coupon bond with no coupon. Bond maturity is defined as the remaining lifetime of a bond and is expressed in years. The three bonds have a maturity of four years, but they make different payments before redemption, with the zero coupon bonds being zero. If we ask ourselves how long it takes for these securities to pay back after investment, we might want to consider these ideas. First, the zero coupon makes us wait until maturity. All of the payments, one single payment, is at redemption. Second, the two coupon bonds make annual coupon payments. We only have to wait one year before the first coupon is paid. And third, the bulk of the payments are at maturity for the principal value is redeemed at the end of the fourth year. Let's get back to our question. Payback time. The answer is duration. The wedge on the timeline represents duration, and it's three years for the first bond, three and a half years for the second, and four years for the last, the zero coupon. What is duration then? Duration is an average of the years before maturity, weighted by the present value of the expected payments. The zero coupon has all the payments at the end of the fourth year, hence four years. The two coupon bonds have a shorter duration because they make regular payments during their lifetime. What is the difference between maturity and duration then? And why should we care? Duration provides us with a measure of a payback time that accounts for interim payments, like coupons, whilst maturity only gives us how long we have to wait before redemption. Is that all? No, it isn't, because the price volatility of a bond depends on duration and not maturity. The two are closely related. The longer the maturity, the longer the duration, though they're not the same. In this introduction about the difference between duration and maturity, Suffice it to say that duration measures the payback time in investing in a bond and accounts for the price sensitivity of that bond. 